All right, guys, uh, we are on heat number 26. This is uh, Thunderboat. This is going to be a five boat heat. We got uh, Raul Rodriguez, Ivan, uh, uh, I can't say Ivan's last name. I apologize for that. I'll have to get him to pronounce it again for me about the fifth time. Ivan, Mr. Ivan is Ivan's Boat Works. Um, I know a lot of y'all of you uh, follow Jim's RC Boat Docks, have seen his boats. The boat that he's running today is a, um, it's a pickle fork. It's not a, a round nose. Uh, IMPBA allows a pickle fork to run in this class, um, whereas NAMA does not. So he's got the only pickle fork running today. Out on the pond, I'm looking at, um, I believe I see one, two, three Herzog Thunderboats, and one uh, Ivan boat, and I'm not 100% sure, but I believe um, Kevin Sharon is running a zip kit uh, uh, Thunderboat. All right, we're at five seconds to the start of the race. Three, two, one. All right, so. They're saying that they had a boat that, that jumped at the start, and I'm not sure which one. We just had a boat got cut off. That was James O'Hensey went out. He got cut off and uh, blew off the water. Mr. Ivan just hit a buoy, going around turn two. I believe Kevin Sharon is our first place boat, which is the, the uh, second yellow boat. The first yellow boat, the first yellow boat jumped, so the second yellow boat is uh, our leader. Followed by Jeff Daff, which is our second place boat in the, uh, in the white Thunderboat going across the line, and he just blew off the water. So this turned out to be a two boat race. This, the second place boat is actually leading uh, on this lap, and the first place boat is the second yellow boat. Mr. Ivan's boat died in the back straightaway. He hit a buoy and it stuck to the front of his boat and I'm not sure if he shut it down or if he got water and it killed. Uh, Jeff Daff blew off in the front straightaway. James O'Hensey, I'm not sure if he was cut off or if he dove in behind somebody, but he blew off the water so he didn't finish. And this is Paul Rodriguez, I'm sorry, Raul Rodriguez. Uh, in second place with Kevin Sharon crossing the line now as our winner. Raul's got to cross the line and he is our second place finisher of the first Thunderboat Heat at the 2009 Gas Nats. Everybody that's here, you know, me Tom's got this going. Alright guys, we're here with Raul Rodriguez. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, I just want to make sure I'm pronouncing it right. I called that, that race wrong. I thought Raul had jumped the uh, start when he actually did not. He was the leader, and he was just kind of holding back, not showing us everything he had. <laughs> Raul, tell us a little bit about the boat you're running and your hardware and your engine. It's our Herzog boat. It's got a Zenoa power, no SIG or nothing else, just straight Zenoa. We run Namba District 3. It's got all Speed, speed Master hardware on it, and it's been a lot of testing and tuning. We finally got the boat running real good. So. How long have you been running this boat? Been running this boat now for two years. I brought it out last year to uh, Fall Classic in Charleston. Came to Voodoo and this. I haven't raced it all year, just been sitting on the shelf and brought her back out to try to get another victory with her. I remember seeing the boat run last year. It didn't look like it was running quite as fast as it's running today. What have you found out? I did an error. I run a lot of nitro stuff too and I put a little nitro fuel filter in the line. It was choking the motor down and so when I took it all apart, the other day put the motor back in it, the stock motor, I found that, replaced it, and she came back alive. So, <laughs> What prop did you find works the best on this so far? Uh, that's a 6717. I'm playing with it. From who? Uh, that's a Bob Austin prop on that Bob one. Austin. Man, that's a popular guy. Yeah. Let me ask you one last question. They, they tell me this guy, Herzog, he's, he's an awesome guy. Is that true? Super nice guy. Here's a good-looking guy, too. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming to talk right, to us, buddy. man. Hopefully come back again. All right.
829, bring it to the pitch. 228 to the last heat of Thunderbolt. Hi guys, we're here with Kevin Sharon. I had to twist his arm and promise we wouldn't talk about politics to get him over here. But this is uh, Kevin's um, twin that he was just running. The boat is unbelievably fast. It's made by Todd, Todd Gunder out of Indianapolis. No, he's out of Indiana. He's out of Indiana. I got you. Fort Wayne, one or the other. Tell us a little bit about the boat. Well, Todd built the boat, and the first time out was at uh, Hobart, Indiana. And uh, he modded the motors. He'd done everything himself, and I tried to get him to build me a hull, and he wouldn't do it. And I says, Todd, what do you want for yours? And he gave me a price, and when he called me to tell me he decided he didn't want to build a hull for me, I said, I'll take yours. And then he couldn't believe it, so I bought the darn thing. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's so much fun. I mean, the, the, the power, the... The sheer wow factor is unbelievable. It's, it's the most fun boat I got. So how long have you been running this boat now? Well, I got about 30 laps on it total now. That's it. So That's it's it. brand new. Brand new. Man, I was watching the boat while it was running. It's unbelievably fast. It looks like it's stable as can be. It's, that's why I bought it. It's unbelievably stable. And if I don't get shaken too bad, it stays on the pins. So is this a boat that's going to be available to the public? You know, I don't know if Todd's going to build them or not. Uh, Todd's got some issues with epoxy right now, but possibly. I mean, it's it's hard to tell. And if enough guys call him, he might build them. Well, guys, I'm telling you, this is an awesome boat. The way it runs is unbelievable. But we're going to let Kevin go so I can call the race that's going on behind us. But, Kevin, thank you for coming to talk to us. Chris, thanks to me time for doing this for us. We really need him. All right, guys. Thank you. You people out there that are watching this, help me time out. Send them a little donation. They need it. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Guys, sorry about that. We were having a little te technical difficulty. Uh, we was also doing an interview with Kevin Chang. Right now we got heat number 27. We're in the middle of it. Um, it's Thunderboat. I'm going to try and find out who your uh, leaders are right now. This is the last lap. It looks like Tammy. Tammy's got five laps. Our winner is uh, Bert, Aaron Sebia. Looked like second place was um, Bill Domain. Tammy got third place, and fourth place is uh, uh, Joe Dugas. All right, guys. We're here with the winner of uh, Heat 27 uh, Classic Thunderboat. Uh, this is Joe Dugas. Joe. Uh, Tell us a little bit about yourself and about the boat that you're running. Uh, I've been running model boats right, now probably 27, 28 years. The boat belongs to Louis Bauman and running for him because he can't be here today. Uh, it's a lot of box with a uh, sick motor in it. We've been working on the boat for a while and it's running real good. 
You said this is a lot of back. This is a Brian Blazer boat? A Brian Blazer boat. Uh, the boat looks excellent. I, it, it looked really good out on the water. Does it drive as good as it looked like? It drives like a dream. You just point and it goes. What, uh, what motor do you run in it? It's running a sick motor in it. And what prop are you running? Uh, I'm running a uh, 2615 on it right now. It's an ABC. Excellent. Well, congratulations, and I'm sure we'll be talking to you throughout the weekend. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. We are underway with heat number 28, classic Thunderboat, or Thunderboat. Um, it's going to be a five-boat heat. Doug Dalmay, Paul Packmeyer, Neil Johnson, Paul Griffin, and Willie Dennis. I see four boats on the water. I don't see any dead boats, and I don't see anyone trying to uh, to crank up anymore. We have 48 seconds left on the clock. So I'm sure we're going to come around, make one more lap, and then we'll start this race. It looks like Paul Packmeyer in the front straightaway leading right now. Twenty-five seconds left to the start. Paul Packmeyer looks like he's speeding up and going to try and make another lap. Willie Dennis is wide on the outside. Ten seconds left on the clock. Paul Griffin, Willie Dennis, and I'm not sure who our driver is on the next boat. Looks like we had a good start. Looks like Paul Griffin. Paul Griffin. Neil Johnson, Willie Dennis, and Paul Packmeyer. Paul Griffin going around turn two, followed by Neil Johnson, followed by Mr. Willie Dennis, followed by Paul Packmeyer. Looks like Paul Griffin is pulling out a little bit, putting a little distance between him and the second place boat. Our leader is in the back stretch. That's Paul Griffin, again followed by Neil, followed by Willie, followed by Paul. I believe we got three laps down. Paul's coming around making his fourth lap. This is number four for Paul. Neil Johnson's coming around making his fourth lap. Willie Dennis is making his fourth lap. And Paul Packmeyer just finished his fourth lap. Paul Griffin is steadily putting distance between him and the second place boat. There's a race for third place between Willie Dennis and Paul Packmeyer. Paul Packmeyer is going to need to get that inside lane in order to pass him. This is lap five. They have to come around. Across the start finish line. This is the finish place for our leader. Neil, Neil's got second place. Well, he went wide and, and just lost it. Willie Dennis just took over second, followed by Paul Packmeyer. And that's how finished. And Neil did not finish. Neil just died in the in the in the front straightaway. Paul Griffin is our winner. Willie Dennis. Got second place, and Paul Packmeyer brought in third. Neil Johnson did not finish. Look at your sheets. You're in 30. Get them down here. All right, guys, we're here with Paul Griffin. Uh, that was uh, heat number 28, th classic Thunderboat. Um, Paul, I know you just got finished putting this boat together. Tell us a little bit about the boat and uh, and what you got going on. This race is a zip kit with a stock sick. Uh, Steering wheel by James Hoency. Uh, got a 6717 prop. And, uh, you know. I understand the steering wheel makes a big difference in these boats. You got to drive. You got to be able to drive some kind of way. And uh, James provided me with an uh, awesome billet aluminum steering wheel that just, it turns on down. This is great. What wheel are you running on this boat? 
Steering wheel or propeller wheel? Propeller wheel. <laughs> 6717, uh, another Brent Daly. Another Brent Daly. Is this a hull that you put together, or, or where did the hull come from? It's originally Jim Geiger's hull, and uh, I purchased it from Carlo. He had it. He never raced it, and I bought it from Carlo. It was already put together. Well, Floyd Bado painted it. I, I'm, I'm telling you that the uh, the boat looks dynamite. Thank you. I tried my best to make it look scale. Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get in touch with Jim and tell him he he messed up. He shouldn't have sold this boat. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's stable. Run run pretty good. I like it. So excellent, excellent job, man. Congratulations, Thanks. Johnson. I watched that whole race, and I thought for sure I didn't call that you got second place. And when I turned around, you died. What happened? Hit a buoy back on the first turn and uh, kicked my rudder up. I had no steering on the last two turns. So to save the boat, decided just to shut it down and try again the next race. So you did shut the boat down? I shut it down. Man, I, I was so disappointed. I watched the whole race. You had second place wrapped up. It looked like it was an open book, closed book case. The boat was running good. It was running solid. but. You do what you're not supposed to do. Things happen aren't good. And we'll just hook it up for next race. Well, good luck next time. Thanks.